Question 16. Explain whether satellite. Answer. Weather satellite is a type of satellite that is primarily used to monitor the weather and climate of the Earth. Satellites can be either polar orbiting, seeing the same spot of the Earth every 12 hours, or geostationary, hovering over the same spot on Earth by orbiting over the equator while moving at the speed of the Earth's rotation. These meteorological satellites, however, see more than clouds and cloud systems, city lights, fires, effects of pollution, auroras, sand and dust storms, snow cover, ice mapping, boundaries of ocean currents, energy flows, etc. are other types of environmental information collected using weather satellites. Question 17. What is a satellite? Answer. Circling the Earth high above our heads. Satellites are messengers and observers in the sky. They relay telephones calls, watch the weather, guide ships and aircrafts and carry out tasks that are impossible on the ground. Question 18. What is satellite meteorology? Answer. Satellite meteorology refers to the study of Earth's atmosphere and oceans using data obtained from remote sensing devices flown on board satellites orbiting the Earth. Satellite make measurements indirectly by sensing electromagnetic radiations coming from the surfaces below. Question 19. What is satellite orbit? Answer. A satellite's orbit is the curved path it follows around Earth. The pull of gravity is stronger closer to the Earth, so a satellite in a low orbit must travel faster than one in a geostationary orbit. Question 20. Geostationary orbit. Answer. Satellite in a circular orbit about 36,000 km above the equator move in time with Earth. Satellites in this orbit are called geostationary because they are stationary with respect to the Earth and appear to be fixed in sky. Question 21. Polar orbiting satellites. Answer. Due to the rotation of the Earth, it is possible to combine the advantages of low altitude orbits with global coverage using near polar orbiting satellites which have an orbital plane crossing the poles. These satellites are launched into orbits at high inclinations to the Earth's rotation at low angles with longitude lines such that they pass across high latitudes near the poles. Question 22. Which satellites are being used to monitor the weather of Indian region? Answer. Kupna 1 located at longitude 74 degrees east and Insart 3 are located at 93.5 Celsius. E. Both geostationary satellites are being used to monitor the weather of Indian region. For meteorological observation, Insart 3 carries a three-channel very high-resolution radiometer VHRR with 2 km resolution in the visible band and 8 km resolution in thermal infrared red and water vapor bands. In addition, INSART-3 carries a charge-coupled device CCD camera which operates in the visible near-infrared and short-wave infrared bands providing a spatial resolution of 1 km. A data relay transponder DRT operating in UHF band is incorporated for real-time hydrometeorological data collection from unattended platforms located on land and river basins. The data is then relayed in extended C-band to a central location. Satellite has a three channel VHRR and DRT similar to INSART 3A satellite. Question 23. What is a satellite image? Answer. It is a pictorial representation measuring the electromagnetic energy recorded by a sensor, not by photography. A photograph is normally taken within a certain spectral range. Visible light satellites take images outside this limited range. Question 24. What do IR and VIS mean? What do we see on air and VIS images? Answer. IR stands for infrared. On an image, IR is usually followed by a wavelength in micrometers. In the IR spectrum, clouds at different heights show up very well as differences in radiances. Quantity of light energy detected from ground level. Radiances vary with cloud height. Radiances can then be converted into temperatures with some calculation. So what we see on an IR image is the distribution of temperatures as detected by the satellite's sensor and the temperature in the legend corresponds to the temperature of whatever the satellite sensor sees clouds at different heights sea surface and earth surface vis stands for visible avis satellite image taken in the visible spectrum is a picture of the earth from space just as you would see it if you were looking out the window from a spacecraft in orbit during nighttime the picture is dark 
Question 25. Which products are being derived from operational Indian geostationary meteorological satellites? Answer. The following products are being derived from Insat satellites outgoing long wave radiation. OLRC surface temperature SST quantitative precipitation estimate QPE cloud motion vectors CMV water vapor wind WVW cloud top temperature CTT visible channel image infrared channel image color composite channel image water vapor channel image Question 26. Outgoing long wave radiation. OLR. Answer. Majority of meteorological sensors operate in long wave range of radiation so that they operate day and night. The problem of low albedo is not encountered. The earth radiation is maximum and thermal IR and ocean emissive is nearly unity. Keeping the above into mind the outgoing flux of long wave radiation at the top of atmosphere is an important parameter in the earth atmosphere radiation budget. This parameter can be derived by physical slash statistical algorithm from the narrow band. Question 27. Sea surface temperature. SST. Answer. As we know oceans are the major storage of heat in the earth climate systems. Sea surface temperature. SST. Is one of the key controllers of climate variability and acts as a vast thermal reservoir. SST regulates the transfer of long wave radiation to the atmosphere as well as the latent and sensible heat fluxes into the lower atmosphere. Question 28. Quantitative precipitation estimate. QPE. Answer. It is one of the key meteorological parameter. A detailed knowledge of its distribution in space and time is essential for understanding weather and climate. Information about rainfall is of great value in variety of discipline beside being controlled to human survival scientifically. The latent heat released during the process of condensation water into cloud and raindrops is one of the significant energy source responsible for atmospheric heat engine. Question 29. How the CMV is generated? Answer. In general, there are five steps in the derivation of cloud motion vectors. Registration of triplet. Cloud tracers selection. Tracking of cloud tracer in the target image. CMV computation. Height assignment. Quality control of cloud motion vectors. Insert-based CMVs are particularly useful in the analysis of upper winds during the monsoon season to study the formation of eddies. Cross-equatorial flow. Approach of the two separate branches of the monsoon. Three levels of the NSART CMV are low level CMV 1000 HP 8 to 700 HP A, medium level CMV 700 HP A to 300 HP A, high level CMV 300 HP A and above. Question 30. What is a sector? Answer. To study the weather condition of a particular region, we can select that area which is known as sector. We are interested in the weather of India, so we select that area.